I grew up in a little city in Spain, in the Mediterranean coast, and then I went uh, to France for university. And then after that, I, I came to CERN already. So I, I've been at CERN for 25 years this year. Synchronization systems are a key part in distributed real-time systems. When, when you have, a, a, in our case, a particle accelerator or a, a set of particle accelerators, these are uh, highly distributed uh, real-time systems. Many subparts have to act in synchronism uh, in order to fulfill the mission, which in our case is the particle beam. So our end product is the, is the beam, but of course to get that beam um, in the four collision points of the LHC, uh, you have to do a lot of engineering and part of it is to get all these electronics along this 27 kilometers of um, accelerator synchronized. Now in terms of synchronization system, the basic idea is that you designate one entity, one piece of electronics, which is going to be the master, which is going to be the one in charge of telling everybody else what the time is. The renewal of the synchronization system of the accelerators at CERN that triggered this development. And when we started, we wanted to be as standard as possible. I was extremely lucky at the time that um, there was Tom with us as a, as a technical student. He was actually finishing his master's. Well, so I'm just a random guy from Poland. And yeah, I've been tinkering around doing electronics and coding since as far as I remember. Probably I started at the age of, I don't know, 11, 12 maybe. I showed up here on the 1st of uh, <laughs> uh, July uh, 2008. So I saw two development kits on my uh, desk, like, uh, can you try synchronizing them? I tried my best and it uh, turned out, uh, yes, it is possible. My name is Maciej Lipiński. I did my master's connected with uh, bachelor's at Polish University. My PhD thesis is uh, basically about wide rabbit reliability determinism. That was fully done but at CERN. I developed parts of, of this, the wide rabbit switch that make the switch a networking device. So, so there are different parts of the switch and my, my role was to actually uh, implement the, the modules that allow the Ethernet traffic to go through the switch and know what, where to go and store it and transmit. I joined CERN in 2010, uh, so it is already 13 years ago. And uh, at that time, there was Javier, there was Tom and me, and the White Rabbit project was just starting. Sometimes this project took us to, um, to use components in non-standard ways, and then we had to really dig and work with the providers of the chips uh, to get this degree of knowledge that's not, it's sometimes not even documented in the, in the chip documentation. Okay? Uh, you need a degree of knowledge of um, an intimacy with the Ethernet standard which you wouldn't need if you were not designing a switch from scratch. So the idea back then was to make uh, a design, an IP core inside the FPGA that people could just take, put it on their board and get white rabbits out of the box. Uh, and that's where I came in and uh, that's the, the module, that's the, the part of white rabbit that, that I designed. It started as a uh, as a solution to a uh, very particular need of, of certain accelerators. Uh, but then once, you know, once we got it running, uh, it turns out that there are many other institutes that need the same kind of thing. At CERN, uh, you know, it's not only a research lab. Uh, there are many, many people. I mean, CERN is like a little town. For people who don't know, CERN is really at the border between France and Switzerland. And, and we cross the border very often. We, we go for lunch to Switzerland, and then we come back and work in France. And then uh, in, in Saint-Genis, which is this little town, there are many people who live there and actually work in Geneva. So every morning, there's a traffic rush to go uh, to Switzerland, and every evening, everybody comes back uh, to, to France. Working in the team, uh, working with uh, great friends, uh, especially here at CERN, uh, working with people you know, from various countries with different backgrounds, different personalities, different characters. It's fun. So I, I think uh, seeing the LEDs blinking is, is like the, the best time of an engineer <laughs> because you see that something works. <laughs> and then you can fast forward it to, to seeing the accelerators and the beam being accelerated and knowing that your stuff is actually 
a part, a small tiny part of this system, but without this, this would not happen. As an engineer, which I, what I consider very important is, is knowing how to do things. So using your brain to solve a problem is, is like uh, <laughs> what we're made for. I mean, this is like uh, the, you know, our, our nature. We're like that. We're animals who uh, think and find solutions to problems, right? And um, in engineering, we're lucky that that general instinct, that, uh, that thing that we have ingrained, all of us, becomes our daily job.